What's up, Infinex? Tech Fan here from Ultimate Dota Black Spy.com. With me, the Galaxy S3, and I'm be showing you how to do an Android backup on your Galaxy S3. And this will work for any type of Galaxy S3, T-Mobile, your cellular Sprint, Verizon, International, Canadian version. Um, yeah, and AT&T as well. I forgot to mention that. One. Okay, so look for any type of variant for Galaxy S3 in the world. So you must have Clockmod Recovery already installed on your phone. If you don't have it installed, you can look there and how to install Clockmod Recovery for any type of Galaxy S3 in the world. So once you have Clockmod Recovery installed, we're gonna enter into Clockmod Recovery mode. So just power off your phone. Give goodbye. Okay, once it's powered off, press the volume up, home center button, and the power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power, but keep holding at the volume up and home center button. So all three. Vibration, let go of power. Just keep holding until you enter into clock my recovery mode. All right, it'll be in here now. Now it's just a few, uh, Taps and clicks away from doing an Android backup. So we're going to go down to backup and restore. And we're going to select backup, the very first one. You probably can't see it. There you go. You can see now backup and restore. So the very first one. And you can select the power and the volume up and down keys to actually um do that. So this backup will back up every single thing uh, on your phone. So it will back up your contacts, your apps, your music, and even your layout of where your apps were. So if you have like Google Gmail down here below, and you restore and you do a backup with this backup you, you're doing right now, it will back it up to the exact same location, exact same information. You don't have to type your email in anymore again. It will back up every single thing in the world on your uh, phone. So it's a great way if something goes bad when you're installing a new custom RAM or just if you're gonna do a factory reset and you wanna uh, restore this later on. So it's a great option. So I'll be back when this is done. Um, backing up it will take a few minutes but five minutes I believe so I'll be back once it's done okay it's finished backing up as you can see it says complete at the bottom and you have these options to use once again so that's how you do a uh, an Android backup so if you ever see this word like on a XDA thread or another form where you want to install a custom ROM they always tell you to do an Android backup before you actually do a custom uh, install a custom ROM this is how you do it and if you ever want to restore it you just select restore the second one so just go down and restore and find the one that your latest uh, backup that you did and just select it and it will restore it automatically. You restore it and go all the way down to yes and select restore. I'm, not, I'm, I'm obviously not going to do it because I have no need to do it. But that's how you do uh, an Android backup and restore on your Galaxy S3 device. Hope you found this tutorial was uh, helpful. It was very simple and easy to do. But for all you new beginners, this is a great guide for you to learn to be uh, involved in the new Android, uh, Android community. If it, custom rams and all that thanks for watching guys don't forget that subscribe button if you haven't uh, to help support me get more videos to be notified for more uh, uh, nice uh, tips and tricks of videos for your galaxy s3 like this and give me a big old thumbs up if you're on YouTube thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next video yeah